Hello guys, before I start this video, I just wanted to warn you that the quality of the, um, like the blurriness will be improved. I accidentally clicked the wrong, um, setting for that, so the quality of the blurriness will be improved next time, as well as the volume. So I'm very sorry, and I hope you enjoy. The Prison Challenge. Including our own warden, Sheila. Our first prisoner is Al Gaston, arrested for theft from the land grabs. Our next prisoner, drug lord of all drug lords, owns a two million dollar mansion in the city of Willow Creek. You can see here her fine collection of her most expensive drugs. Oh yes, the one and only, Beverly Woo! Next up we have Kara Still. She is a paid to kill people. As you can see here, she is killing one of her very many victims named Alana. Accompanied by the Grim. Next we have Marcus Goldman, arrested for keeping his high school foes hostage in his own home. As you can see here school foes. Next up we have the sweet and cheerful Paisley Mirren. And although she seems sweet on the outside, she is just one angry little soul. And when her exes break up with them, they will get justice, I tell you. She locked one of her asshole victims named Ben Angus in a heat room where he died of laughter because he went crazy from the heat. The Grim Reaper arrived and she was very regretful of her actions, even though Ben Angus was a douchebag. But she still felt bad, okay? You I mean you feel bad for killing someone? The Grim wasn't, though. And last but not least, we have Trayvon Duel, drug dealer and also known for many gang fights. Here he is seen fighting his drug dealer boss when he didn't sell any drugs or something like that. And then he has a fight, and he's mad, I tell you, he's mad, he's so mad, man. And they fight. Luckily, Trey wins, and gets fired from his drug dealing job, but not quick enough, because he is arrested. That's it, folks. Welcome to jail! Yes! Hello, everybody. Welcome to my first ever video on my new YouTube channel, Simtastic. Yes, yes. Um, wow. I've legitimately been trying to make a Sims video for about five, like, feels like five months. It's probably been like two months. But it actually takes so much time trying to be prepared for a Sims video. Like, you wouldn't actually believe it. You have to buy a microphone. And let me tell you, I bought two that didn't work. And then I bought this headset, which I had a lot of troubles with at the beginning. Then you have to get edit, um, edit, well, not editing, a film record, no, screen recording software to record a screen, obviously. And then you obviously have to have Sims. You have to make your YouTube channel, and you have to put in a lot of time and effort to make intros. Which, just letting you know, if you like that intro, please leave a thumbs up because that took me three days to make over homework, The Bachelor, New Zealand, and um, musical practices. Because I'm not musical, you know. No. <laughs> Whoa! I've never made that sound before. <laughs> Okay, so, I'm really awkward today because, like, you know, you don't want to be too weird on camera, but you kind of still want to be, like, original. I just feel like everything I'm saying right now, I'm just kind of like, ooh, that was not what you actually would say in real life. But anyways, so like I sort of mentioned before when I was talking about The Bachelor, Bachelor, I'm from New Zealand, and for a lot of people, probably doesn't really know where don't really know where that is. That is basically like Australia's, um, you could say, sister country, because most people know um, Australia, so I mean, you can just base it. New Zealand off that. We're kind of rivals with Australia, but it's a friendly rivalry. I'm 14, even though I sound like I'm 5, yeah, yeah, whatever. I, um, uh, what else? 
I enjoy Sims a lot. Ask any of my friends, they will say that I am obsessed, and it is the truth. I and uh, I like I like custom content as well, but you know it does get a bit glitchy, so I kind of freak out a little bit. And I also for the Sims channel have a um Twitter account, so if you'd like to follow that, you know stay updated. It has seven followers, yo, at the moment. So go follow. It's called at Sumtastic X. Oh wait, I think it's something like that because I put an XO at the end of my username on all my things because I'm pretty sure Simtastic was kind of taken but most of the accounts were unactive so let me just check my Twitter on my phone oh okay here we go yes at Simtastic XO it should be on the screen actually and yeah so <laughs> yums I'm so excited. So if you can't already tell by the title, which you probably can tell, and everyone says it's in their videos, I'm doing the prison challenge. But it's not like the actual prison challenge. I've kind of like modified it a quite a bit. Because uh, I haven't really read the rules over the prison challenge. I just know it's a challenge about prison. So basically, I think I've got all my prisoners, and I've decided that you have to have... To get out of prison, you need to complete, um, I'd say... Two aspirations. I'll write this all in the description, hopefully. Two aspirations, and I think you should become, should be able to become good friends with the warden, Sheila, who I'll talk about more later. And also, you have to pass the trial, which, like the court thing, I think it's called a trial, which I will explain when it comes to the court trial. So, yeah, which will be a while. So, yes, this is an adapted prison challenge. And rules like they can't leave their cells. They can't. They, they can't. That You're allowed to have as much money as you want. You can not travel with your prisoners or your warden at all, ever. You can build more into your prison. But, you know, it's quite free range. Free range prisoners. So, yes, I'll give you a tour of the prison now. And, yes, it's very dull. And I've put these little... Like dark windows on the outside, but see-through windows on the inside. And yes, and I'll introduce you to the characters after the tour. So, this is the main office, if you can't tell. It's got all the files, which is probably a bad idea, because people can just come in and steal it, I guess. And it's got the the full kitchen. Um, I built this, by the way, except for the warden's house, which was a room I downloaded off the gallery. Then here is a, um, like, where you can chat to your family, so, um, I made it so that, oh, bloody hell, you can see that, you can see them, but they can't pass, oh, smart, right, and I just really like this little room where you can chat with your family members, I'll try and go in, yeah, so yeah, you can chat with your family members, and that's a about it you can't do anything else in here but I, I don't know why it's such a simple room but that happens to me all the time I love the simple rooms that are just I feel that are really innovative innovate innovative um then outside I have kind of the outdoor common area so we've got a barbecue for cooking skills oh god I did not know that moved um exercise equipment gardening and a pool which I purposefully made look really ugly and dirty because they're probably not going to clean it for their prisoners. This is not a hotel. And then we've just got a gated away little area for our thingy. You know what I'm annoyed about though? You can't place the gate um, that comes with this fence anywhere. It's like you have to have a shorter fence but it doesn't even work then. So basically the gates that come with get to work are a dud. Then if you come down the stairs so you come down a very secure area and um, you get into this common area. So this is the cells and the um, skill building area. So we've got our violin, our peered pipe of a guitar. Our pipe. You can see all this. I don't know why I'm calling it out. you got the kitchen, which is not a full kitchen, but in this locked door, except for Sheila, um, you have the fridge and the oven. It's just, I feel like they shouldn't be able to get to that stuff very easily. Um, then you have the cells. So, this is one. So, basically, the cells are all. Uh, what I do? Oh my god. 
Seriously, okay, I've got to go and fix that now. Blimmin' heck. I feel like I've put it something weird. Red. Okay. I just wanted to give them a cheap shower, if you're wondering why that's there. So, yeah, I've got all the cells. They're all the same except for one poster, which I've just put up. And now, let's introduce you to the characters. So, you probably got a pretty good... Actually, I already did that in the intro. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, so now you know the characters, and now you know the people. But I'll just show you them again, just in case. Like, I won't give you a full summary, but... We've got Sheila the Warden, who wasn't very, really given much of an explanation, but... This is Sheila the Warden. This is Al... Oh, where is he? Bloody hell. Sorry. You'll notice I say bloody hell a lot. It's kind of like... It's not really like... I wouldn't say it's swearing. It's just kind of like... New Zealand, um, I don't know, not swearing, but like, I, I can't explain it, I don't know what to say that's not swearing, but it's still kind of like cursing, I don't know, anyways, this is Al Gaston, he is an adult who is really tubby and adorable, and even though he's a criminal, I love him, he's great, um, he's been in prison for a while, as you can tell, because he's growing his beard, which is my storyline that I follow, then this is Kara, Kara um, wow, she's kind of like, or I think she's really pretty, like, she's the badass, you know what I mean, like, she is super epic, oh god, epic is such a 2011 word, this is Marcus, he's an evil genius, like, oh, evil, insane genius, who's a very quick learner, yeah, he's, I do not like him, he creeps me out, then we've got Paisley, who is like the cheerful one, who kind of, I've kind of forgotten what she does. Wait, let me check my notes. Paisley. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. She's just a depressed little person. She kills her exes. She felt so bad afterwards. Like, she always feels really bad, but at the time, she's super mad and sad. Oh, my God, this is rhyming. Like, super. I can't think of another rhyme. But it's okay. Paisley is, gr she's so cute, and she's just a little soul that doesn't really know where she's going, and she just is hot-headed. Oh, I should have made her hot-headed. Well, too late now. Then we have Trey, who was like your badass, but another badass. He, I didn't change, like, I never change voices, because I don't really have my volume on too much. Oh, my God, he has the highest voice. I was listening to it when I was recording the intro. What the even heck? His voice is so high. And then we have the psychotic Beverly Wu. Um, yes, she is really crazy. Super crazy. Beverly Wu, is, you don't want to mess with her. Because she has a lot of bodyguards. And she is always planning her escape. And she's crazy and she hates prison, as you can probably tell by her eye bags. Which are just makeup from Get to Work. But I just feel like it makes her look really tight and crazy. Okay, guys, so, let's, I don't know if we should start, I'm really nervous, I don't know why. Maybe we'll play one sim day, because we've already had the intro, and then, yeah, good idea, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you around the warden's quarters, sorry. Yeah, so this, just, disclaimer, this room was not made by me, it, in any way, <laughs> I just edited the outside by putting bricks on, that's all I did, and a roof. So, yeah, it's just pretty basic, but it gives the warden nice living quarters. And I'll probably edit it later on. Just, It's really plain, but I don't really have anything to do with Kara, except she's just going to be cooking. I mean, Sheila, what am I on about? So, yeah, all, I've cheated to make their needs all happy for the beginning, but, you know, we'll be on, like, part five, and it'll just be like, Bleh! everyone's mood will be horrible. So, yeah, let's start. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, oh my god, you guys. Oh, I don't know what to do. That's a really bad start. <laughs> Exits out of the video. Congratulations, congratulations if you're still here. I like you. Okay, so f to get them out of their cells, I don't want to have to unlock their doors and then lock them again. So what I'll just use is teleportation. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's see what they want to do. So what is Al's aspiration? Okay, he wants to be a freelance botanist. And 
she wants to be a bodybuilder. So I think we'll let them go outside for now. Shift, teleport here. 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 And shift, teleport here. So if they have no business outside, then they will just have to go swimming or do something. Because prison is not a luxury hotel, okay guys? And, oh by the way, the challenge ends when I think you have everyone out of prison. And if this Let's Play goes well, I will do like a Life After Prison video with your, like, People's Choice Favorite Character. So yeah, like we could go with Al, we could go with Paisley. And I'll quickly just set the lifespan to long, because we don't want them to be dying turning to elders very quickly. Um, long, long, long. Play changes. Okay. Ooh. Righty then. Let's get them working out. So. So they do have like a tiny bit of skills, I think. Some of them do because of the introduction, but that's basically all it is. Uh, what do you need to do? You need to plant some seeds. We'll get you some seeds. Hmm, let's get him some flowers, because that way he can't eat what he grows. So we'll grab him five foot flowers, because I feel like they wouldn't want that. Okay, we'll get him to open the seed packets. Wait, they can't get it back inside, can they? Oh, oh, they can, yeah, they can. What am I on about? Um, Beverly Wu, you can go swimming, because, oh, I feel like she'd be one who would just randomly skinny dip. Um... She just skinny dip. She would. Go skinny dipping! Oh, and I feel like... I, oh, oh, dis disclaimer. I know that people um, don't actually have um, unisex or co-ed prisons in real life. But for the purpose of this challenge, I just want to have both genders. Because I was thinking that possibly later on the challenge, is a little bit of a plot twist, they, one of them might get pregnant and it'd just be like weird because it'd be a child in prison and have to be adopted and then when they got out of prison it'd be that life mission to find that child and be like I'm sorry anyways we'll get to that when it happens I'm kind of getting a bit carried away so Beverly she's insane she's just gonna skinny dip um Al all oh, right that's right you need to plant your things so let's get you to do that Alexander Hamilton we are waiting in the wings for you. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I thought he was planting it from over there. And I was like, ugh, please just click and don't lag. That would be lovely. <sighs> Lemon egg. Okay. And let's open another seed packet. What is Paisley doing? Oh, I thought she'd gotten on the other side of the gate. And I was like, what? Okay, why don't you do some punching? Because I feel like you'd be, like, sad. You need to get your sadness out that you... Oh, her shower went into her inventory. Okay. That's fine. Yes. Oh, Sheila, why are you being so nice? God, you're evil. Wait, aren't you? Mean, I think. Oh, hot heated. I should have made her blooming mean. She's mean. But she does have to have relationships with them. I feel like she would pick on one specific person, and that would be Trey. Um, because, well, he's a douche. Oh, Beverly! Put that junk away! <gasps> oh, my God. Everyone's so casual about it. They're like, yeah, we just got naked. Oh, no, they're not. Well, I think he's enjoying it. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't we get him to flirt with her? And then we have a reason for Sheila to tell him off. Romance. Look, flirty, flirty. And then we can yell at him for a reason. Ha <laughs> Woo! Shh, shh, shh. Is she flirting? Is he, is he flirting? What? I said flirt with him. Stop talking to Al. Come on. Al's not worth their time. Everyone seems to be getting along. I don't think they realize that they're in prison. I don't think they'll be so happy when they figure out. Because the Sims. Okay, go. Yell at him, yell at him. No floating in my prison, you stupidest person. Yell at him. Sorry if I'm like... Oh, what's the word? 
bursting your eardrums. Oh, I might not be though. Like, you might have to turn this video up. I, I think I've put a little message saying turn this video up because I'm pretty sure my microphone's really quite far away from my head on the headset. So, water. Oh, look, she's telling him off. Oh wait, it waters them all, doesn't it? Okay. Kara's minding her own beeswax. She's like, oh wait, never mind. She's not. Paisley is. Let's watch her. I wonder if she's actually good. Oh yes, and another thing, I'll write this all in the description because you know I've kind of messed this up. You have to complete two skills as well, which comes in aspiration. So you probably will end up doing that anyway. So yeah, you just have to make sure you master some skills. <coughs> Oh, wow. Okay, I feel like this is being super glitchy. Like, she's still punching, but... Oh, never mind. Okay, um, Beverly, maybe she put some clothes on. Oh, no. Um, I feel like these two would get along really well, Paisley and Beverly, because they're both really insane. Ah, uh, is she? Is she insane or just depressed? Yeah, she's insane. Okay, go talk to her. I feel like you become best friends. Be like, oh. You look so nice in that really pretty orange uniform. Where did you get it? And then she'd be like, yeah, I love your birthday suit. It's super... No, that is so however old Beverly Lou is. I'm probably making no sense. I feel like I'm just babbling. Comment if I'm babbling. Leave some hate for me to look at and cry about. Okay. I'm really enjoying this. I mean, I know not a lot's happening, but I'm just really excited to finally be filming a video and probably posting it the same day that I do because I've been having not enough time. And I have time tonight because there's no Bachelor on tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's what's stopping me. But I'm just letting you know I might not be able to upload that frequently because I'm in year 10, which I don't know what grade that is, but I'm 14, so in America, just tell me what that is in America, but I'm year 10, which means in year 11 I'll be doing, like, proper exams and like NCEA is what they call it which means I'm doing all this practice stuff at the moment and it's really stressful and hard and I have like a lot of homework at the moment which I'm probably like gonna regret saying this next year when I have heaps more homework but I will try upload regularly but I can't promise anything you know <sighs> Also, it took me a while to build up the confidence to start a Sims channel, so if you're just struggling, no one sees your face if you're worried about people knowing you from school. Like, no one sees your face. The only thing they'll recognize is your voice, and even then, it's kind of different. So you don't even have to use your real name. So just do it. It'll be fun. I'm liking it, and I've been doing it for like two seconds. Oh god, it's lagging. So all the prisoners are enjoying it, but... Now it's time for everyone to go back into their cells and be sad and realize that they're imprisoned. So yeah, <laughs> yes. Golly. Okay, let's put them all in. So this is Kara's cell. I can tell by the posters. Teleport. This. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna have to stop doing that. This is Marcus's cell. Teleport here. This is Paisley cell. Teleport here. Trace. Uh, uh, no. This is Al's. Al's cell. Whoa. That was loud. Uh, Trace. Uh, I feel like this is going to be an easier way to do this, but someone here, just let me know what you think I should do. America sings for you. Yes. Oh, I love this. This is good. They're all in their habitats. Oh, care. Uh, Sheila, what are you doing? Can you talk to them through the bars? Oh, she can go in their cells. That's right. What's she telling him? Oh, okay. This sounds really weird. But if you just look at Sheila and then you look at Al. Don't you think they'd make a really cute couple? I mean, I know it's weird, like a warden and a prisoner, but that would be a really good plot twist. Don't you think? Ooh. Please, like, comment what you think I should do. Because usually 
when I used to play Sims, it would follow like no storyline in my head. It would just be all the interactions. But I watched other YouTubers like Deligracy and Urban Sims. They have really good storylines. And then I started playing my game and I was making up storylines in my head and I was going, wow, this is way, be way better. So, um, I, I'm trying to do that with this because I know it becomes way more interesting when it's not just a bunch of random animations. Like, you can't, it's not as original otherwise because then anyone can recreate the exact same game. So, yeah, comment down below what you want to happen because it would be awesome. I, I really want suggestions because sometimes when you, like, maybe a in school and you writing an essay or something or answering questions and you find out a really good answer and you're like wow why didn't I think of that it can be easily translated to sims and thinking wow why didn't I think of that storyline I hope that made sense um oh she's taken the seat on the bed oh oh is he oh oh I feel like something would happen between them like I feel like if she flirts with him or if he flirts with her, then it'll be okay. They seem really not sure what they should be doing. How about, girl, you read a book? You can read the first unicorn because you're not a developed reader. I'm sure she is, but... Ah! Ah! Why won't it work? I hate it when it lags. <laughs> Please just do it. Go here and do it. Read the book. Read anything. Read something. What? How does it have anything to do with the cells? You crazy? <laughs> what? Okay, I've got an idea. I've got an nah, I don't. Oh, I do, I do, I have an idea. I'll, I'll move the bookshelves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the Ten Dual Commandments. It's the Ten Dual Commandments. I'm sorry, guys. This is like a first part, and I feel like first part's always boring. You know, you feel me, bruh? You feel me, bruh? Also, I'm not going to name any names here, but I feel like some YouTubers come across very full-on. I hope I'm not coming across too full-on. Because this one YouTuber, again, not naming any names... I'll just say the gender. He is extremely full on. It really annoys me because I feel like he's just yelling into the microphone and trying to be all funny. And I don't, I'm not finding it funny, okay? God, why am I doing all these weird things? I don't do this in real life. Most of the time, at least. Anyways, I think I'm just going to leave this off here because I feel like I've been filming for like five years. And what? What? I'll fix this over, off camera. So yes, if you if you enjoyed this video, please do um, comment, subscribe, do all those things YouTubers tell you to do. Um, because a, y I'll be happy. B, you'll see Sims videos. Um, C, I like doing this. D, um, it takes me a lot of effort. To make these videos, as I said, it took me three days to make the introduction. Mostly because I had Bachelor on and homework. But still, it took me a long time. And, well, just do it because you're nice. And, ABCDE, if the list goes on. That's my number F. Letter F. Oh, God. So, yes, if you in Oh, I've already said that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next video. Hopefully it's the prison challenge, but comment down below what you want to see it more of, because there might be challenges. As long as you don't recommend the Runaway Teen challenge, I do not like that challenge at all. But yeah, every other challenge or Let's Play idea, recommend it. And I will most like probably 100% reply to your comment, because Person with Zero Subscribers has time and does check their YouTube frequently. So yes, I... Enjoy your company over the virtual world, and I will see you next time. Adios, amigos!